Thousands of rainbow lorikeets have been found paralysed across northern New South Wales and southeast Queensland, with vets and volunteers struggling to care for the hundreds of birds affected daily. But what is lorikeet paralysis syndrome and what causes it? So lorikeet paralysis syndrome is a phenomenon that we've seen quite a few times over the years, but we've seen very big numbers of birds affected by this phenomenon over at least the last four years um, when we've had these extreme rain events. This time the birds did seem to be more severely affected. They went down more suddenly, they became paralysed more suddenly, needed more sudden immediate first aid and treatment. It's come down to us believing at this point the most likely thing is a toxicosis. So it's, it's something causing a, a toxicity within these birds. We know that it's something affecting their, their kidneys and their liver very severely and then ultimately their, their, muscular, their musculoskeletal system. So we're looking at something possibly at this stage, either like a fungus or a bacteria. It's, it's a race against time on, on all fronts here. So the longer a bird's not flying, the longer it takes to get back that strength. So it's, it's like an athlete that's off training for a couple of weeks. Supplementation, uh, support, uh, lubrication of their eyes to make sure their eyes don't get damaged um, in this event. Making sure that they don't aspirate because they can't protect their airways properly. And once we get them through that initial phase, the carers then have to very slowly take them through support, feeding them very, very carefully. Um, so going from electrolyte solutions and then gradually to um, replacement, food replacement solutions like nectar mix and things like that until they can build them up and get them out into a cage where they can finally get their strength back and go back to the wild. The most important thing to do is, is to get the bird to a vet straight away. The main thing to remember is these birds cannot swallow safely, so trying to feed them yourself is, is actually very dangerous. They are going to be very desperate for food because they're going to be hungry, but they don't have the ability to swallow and protect their airways properly.